I I see this, and I and I want to write. Um, I'm going to write a bigger piece about this. So I'll kind of just talk about this a little bit. Um, I see what's happening with the police brutality issue as one of many human rights violations that America is committing. Um, I'm going to release this video later later today, but uh, you know. The dispatch I, I released er, the, this week. If you if you listen to Taboo Table Talk yesterday, uh, and and check out the video that's coming out, I, I talk about how you know what wars under Joe Biden are really going to look like. Um, that's that's part of what I talked about. Under that, I talk about their relationship with Saudi Arabia. Now, America has a very cozy relationship with Saudi Arabia, which is a country that. Uh, has um, uh, boy, I I think maybe the record in in human rights violations. Although America's catching up, we're catching up. We're number one, baby. Doesn't matter what we're number one in. It's just important that we're number one. Uh, what's happening with people of color, the the black and brown communities across the the country here? I think is a violation of human rights. I mean, there's there's a lot of them, um, you know, and uh, again, we chastise countries like Russia and China, uh, you know, nations in Africa, the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, we chastise them. But one, we buddy buddy up with dictators. Uh, we buddy buddy up with people that are murdering, that are putting hits out on people. So that in and of itself is like, aren't aren't you supporting human rights violations there? But how are you criticizing other countries for your, you? what is this, right? It confuses people. And when you get confused, you, you know, you can choose to go down the avenue of seeking the truth and exposing the truth and really realizing that uh, a lot of these are, are public platitudes uh, that they have to say in order to garner votes, or you go down the conspiracy theory end. That's really what ends up happening with people. The reality is, uh, this is a human rights violation. Murdering an innocent black person across the country is um, is a major human rights violation. Not giving a living wage while the price of everything goes up so that people have to suffer is a human rights violation. Giving access to health care where millions and millions of people can't afford their health care or are in stuck of, in medical debt so that the rest of their lives are paying off a, a treatment that they got to save their lives is a human rights violation. I mean, the list goes on and on, but then we chastise countries like Russia for their human rights violation. It's like, motherfucker, you're doing the same thing. What, you can't govern with this fucking uh, do as I say, not as I do bullshit and claim that you're a fucking democracy because you're not. You're just not. This is an oligarchy through and through. This is an authoritarian state through and through. And look at the massive human rights violations that America is committing. But nobody wants to come out and talk about it. Because if they do, they'll get chastised. Their channels might get deleted. They'll get flagged. They'll get this. They'll get that. A true free country doesn't act this way. So again, if you have conservative friends, this is an argument to bring up. This is a human rights violation. Julian Assange, what's happening to Julian Assange is a human rights violation. America commits human rights violation just as frequently and with just as much veracity as any of the other countries that it chastises for committing human rights violations. Guantanamo Bay is still open. Remember when Obama said he was going to close G Bay? And he never fucking did. There's no more excuses. You let 500 million people die because you just couldn't put a mandate in place to say you got to wear a mask. Corporations aren't upholding that. Look, you're a private company, right? Isn't that what they isn't that the excuse that they use whenever people channel get the channels get demonetized and deplatformed off of their networks? Is that the excuse of the videos? Oh, well, YouTube's a private company. You can't bitch about that. 
Oh, so a private company can just go against the constitution of the country that it fucking operates in because they're a private company. It's the excuse that they use all the time. But you can't you can't use that you can't use that for wearing a mask in your store. Hey, you know what? You're putting people's lives in danger right now and we're not comfortable with having you here. So please look for a different store to shop or wear the mask that we provide you. If you have a medical excuse, please provide us with that medical excuse. Don't we have to show a fucking doctor's note every, every time we we're skipping school? You can't show a doctor's note during a fucking pandemic. All the doctor's note has to say is this person has a condition that won't fucking let uh, that they can't wear a mask. And if, if that is the case, then stay at home, right? Stay at home. You're you're more susceptible anyway. Logic and common sense go out the window. But there's but how can you have logic and common sense when you have a government that says one thing and does something different and confuses a bunch of people and eradicates logic from the equation? You can't. The same thing happens with these human rights violations. They run these spins. They run these fucking excuses. They run all these not. They all run all this fucking nonsense. And then they throw juxtaposed arguments and then people get confused when the reality is we live in a corrupt corporate oligarchy that is controlling everybody. That is controlling narratives. That uses the corporate media as a propaganda tool. That uses law enforcement to protect rich, rich people's stuff, and pit poor people against each other. That's the reality. So America has no right. They've lost the right to chastise other countries for their human rights violations when they're not doing not one goddamn thing to stop the human rights violations in their own country. Let's look at some comments. Like I said, this is going to be, um, I'm, I'm going to write a much longer piece on this, but I wanted to talk about it today because I, I, I thought about it as I was reading the article uh, and, and, you know, looking more into uh, uh, Elijah McClain here. So uh, good answer, Chris. Thanks. I fear that sociopaths have shown that they no longer, uh, that they use longer vision than we do. Sociopaths have shown that they use longer vision than we do. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. Uh, sorry, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, let me let me know let, let me know what you're what you mean by that. Uh, Malcolm X wanted to bring the U.S. before the U.N. for human rights violations. Oh, did he? That's awesome. I, I much like uh, Dinner with Franklin, am, am a little under uh, un, undereducated uh, when it comes to Malcolm X. Not that I dislike him or anything, but a lot larger amount of my focus went into the Black Panthers. Um, and uh, and so so I kind of. Malcolm went a little lower to the to the the list there. Uh, Aiden, number one in COVID COVID debts, USA, USA, US. That's how it rolls, baby. That's how they roll. Uh, UN rapporteur on torture uh, toured the US and cited instances of human rights violation, poverty, and neglect. Yeah, so you know, the UN is saying that, but America is just like, no, don't. They're great. They're they're nuts. Don't worry about that. They're not so. Uh, no medical excuse for not wearing a mask. I think some people have like immuno problems where they can't cover up their nose or something like that. Uh, but uh, there's no real medical excuse for not wearing a mask. Yeah, but even if you have one, let let's just hypothetically say you do. Right? Let's say you have a uh, some kind of a. Uh, uh, respiratory illness or you're susceptible to respiratory illness or you have a acute a a asthma condition where you can't legitimately wear a mask, then don't go to the fucking grocery store. Or go and pick it up, right? I, I just don't... I just, the, but There's no logical reason for them to do something like this. Uh, it makes me really uncomfortable when I'm walking around a grocery store and I see somebody without a mask on. It just fucking trips me up. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. 
Uh, let me pop over to Rockfin. Flint still does not have clean water, says it all. Yeah, Flint, uh, Pittsburgh water is uh, is is full with lead. We had to get a, a specialized filter for our uh, for our th you know for our faucet to to filter out lead. That's how I'm able to drink water out of this thing. We have corporate sacrifice zones all all across our country, and you know so it's just it, like. You you can't you can't say that America is the greatest country in the world when we're legitimately riddled with human rights violations all across the country. So, you know, it's just it's just a bunch of nonsense. Um, uh, oh, here it is. I meant that they no longer have. Uh, I just meant they seem to have longer range plans than we tend to see until they're already in place. In some instances, yes. But I think the, uh, I think what's what's good is there's a lot more people talking about this from various different angles. And once we start listening to it, I think we can figure out where they're going. Like, for example, uh, Caitlin Johnstone wrote a great piece about how we're probably going to see a lot more economic wars than we are. Uh, hot wars, right? Uh, like drone bombings and things of that sort. My view on that is I, I tend to agree with Caitlin Johnstone uh, that I think we are going to see a lot more economic wars, right? And and that was something that uh, Trump was really ramping up with Venezuela, with Iran, uh, and so on and so forth. What I think they're going to do is they're going to do that a lot more. They're going to put sanctions on a lot more countries that don't want American imperialism to be present in their in their nations. So um, what they'll use that, though, is and they tried to do this with Venezuela. And, and let's be honest, uh, the intelligence community and American imperialism do, will, will try and try and try until it until it fucking wears you down. Right. Um, so what I think they'll do is they'll use these economic wars to justify they're hot wars to justify sending troops and drones into into these countries to take out uh, these brutal dictators like fucking Nicolas Maduro, who is literally feeding his people more than America is during a pandemic while they have economic sanctions put on by America. And the spin that they use in these conditions is, oh, well, look how bad the conditions are in these countries, even though the conditions are only bad because America puts sanctions on their countries and are uh, using finances to attack the working class and the middle class and the poor communities of these other nations, right? As like some kind of, we're going to use global manifest destiny and win capitalism by fucking over the middle class on, on a worldly scale. So uh, like Holly is saying here, yes, sanctions are warfare. Economic sanctions are really, let's, let's call them what they are, economic warfare. So... Um, yeah, they have assistance available for people like that. Yeah, a lot of stores have assistance for people that have uh, medical conditions. So, um, you know, that's that's the thing that I think uh, is, is probably going to happen. So to your point, in some instances, I think they do have longer range plans that we can't keep up with. But now, again, because of because of the age we're in, because of social media, because of a lot more people talking about it, a lot more people being able to uh, connect with each other on long distance basis, uh, we can share a lot more stories, a lot more perspectives and get ahead of this stuff. We can get ahead of a lot of these a uh, lot of these plots and reveal them for what they are to um to eradicate the plan or to stop it in its tracks right because really i mean aurora illinois not that big of a town right in terms of bigger cities in in colorado or, or is this aurora illinois or aurora colorado uh i think i'm mixing the two up uh i apologize for that uh let me double check if you if you if you know if it's Aurora, Colorado, or Aurora, Illinois, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, it's Aurora, Colorado, and it's a part of the Denver metropolitan area, is what it is. Sorry, uh, apologize for the confusion there, but I mean Aurora is a smaller community, right? It's a smaller community, um, uh, and basically they were hoping that this is uh, because the community is so small that it wouldn't get out. But it is even shit that's happening in smaller towns and smaller communities are starting to get out there. So I think we can stay ahead of this stuff 
Now, this is the part that I think it falls upon us, we the people, is it falls upon us to get informed. And there's a lot of people now that Biden's back in office that are unwilling to be informed. And I and I, I tweeted about this the other day. It's really, really disheartening to see uh, people that were like progressive free thinkers and people that are, uh, you know, that were, were were skeptical and would would question things and that and all this that oh, this that and the third, you know, they are parroting CIA and Democratic Party talking points and are now choosing to be ill informed and choosing to be ignorant of it, which is exactly what a lot of people predicted. Right? It's going back to brunch. That's what we mean by going back to brunch. So it becomes a choice. Do you want to listen to the truth about what's going on? Do you want to support independent media who is not funded by the corporations uh, that fund corporate media like MSNBC and CNN and NPR? Or do you want to stay ignorant and just parrot things that your so-called leaders are going to tell you to? You know, the choice really falls upon we the people in that situation. Horrible conditions from sanctions. Yeah, that's exactly what we're what we're looking at today. Uh, oh, Rob, Rob uh, Meat Herd on Rockfin says that it is a it is a, a large community. Uh, that was where. Uh, oh, the Joker Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Joker Batman mass shooting did happen in Aurora, uh, uh, Colorado. You are correct. I stand corrected on that. Uh, thank you for that correction from Rockfin there. So th this is a bigger, so the, the Aurora seems to be a larger community. Uh, but, you know, I, I, regardless of that, I do think that because the word's getting out, that's a positive thing. Um, I do want to share this before we leave. This is uh, De Denver Defense. They have, um, they have a, a, a petition to drop the charges. I have signed the petition. Uh, if you guys see that link, feel free to, uh, check that link out and sign the petition if you feel like it as well. Uh, I feel like it's important to, to have these people released. So, uh, I am pro release <laughs> of these folks. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.